In this module, we discuss new developments affecting the Atomic Web Interface. We address the following. We explain the embedded Jetty application server. Before version 21, Atomic required a web server and Tomcat was even included in the installation package. We deployed the AWI WAR file to Tomcat's web apps directory. While this approach is still natively supported, now we have a new option, the embedded Jetty application server. AWI is simply packaged together with Jetty and deploys as a single component. We control AWI with a single Java command. Version 21 saw a number of visual improvements. There's a new menu bar, the back button has been removed, the navigation pane has been consolidated, and there have been enhancements regarding color consistency, sizing, zooming, and more. We're now able to drag and drop objects into schedule objects from different browser windows and tabs. The VARA object has new functions. We can copy the contents of static VARA objects and paste them to external tools and export the contents of many VARA types to a CSV file. Workflow Monitor and Editor have seen major improvements. We're able to group select multiple workflow tasks and single click suspend and go functions. Also, the task tooltip has been vastly improved to display stylized and streamlined information. The status markers of the process monitoring perspective are now interactive. We can use them to apply dynamic filters. Finally, we can configure AWI log levels directly in the web interface, and this no longer requires a restart. There's now two ways of deploying the web interface. The old-fashioned way involves a web server like WebSphere or Tomcat, and the AWI WAR file. In addition, AWI can now be deployed as a single Java service with an embedded Jetty application server. We begin in the web interface directory. There's a single jar file called AA Web UI Launcher, which is a self-contained AWI package. A separate web server is no longer needed. You can see this in the service manager. We have an AWI service. Let's see the associated command. This is the AWI command with the Jetty server. It's a simple jar file. The back button previously baked into AWI is now gone, so as to streamline navigation. From this point forward, we rely exclusively on the browser's back button. There are other visual improvements. We use the process monitoring perspective as an example. You notice that the navigation pane on the left has changed. We have removed the sliders to make feature function sets more accessible. In prior versions, perspectives were added and removed with expansion and scrolling menus. Those features have been removed. Perspectives are now permanent. Other improvements have been brought to the visual and navigation experience. We've improved the color coding in contrast. Scaling has been corrected to guarantee use of native browser zooming and maintain size consistency for each area of the web interface. A number of security improvements have been made. Finally, AWI will retain user settings and interface configurations. Settings like sorting, column sizes, and filters will be retained when you leave a particular screen or even log out. We've had the ability to drag and drop objects from different web browser pages into workflows for some time. That capability has now been extended to schedule objects. In this example, we have a schedule at the top and some jobs in a different browser at the bottom. We drag and drop a new job. Static VAR objects have been enhanced so as to allow the copying of contents of one static VAR object to another seamlessly. We're going to show this in one moment. It's also possible to copy those contents to an external tool like a text editor, although this requires AWI to be deployed with SSL and accessed over HTTPS. Some VAR objects produce some sort of outputs. 
This includes multivaras, which aggregate the values of individual vara objects, SQL, backend, exec, and file list. Historically, these objects had a preview button, which displayed that output. The preview can now be copied and pasted to third-party tools, as long as AWI is accessed over HTTPS. You can also export the contents of these VARA objects to a CSV file. Before version 21, compound workflow tasks, which is to say tasks containing sublevel workflows, could only be suspended one by one. The reverse action, Go, fell under the same rule. As of now, we can select multiple compound tasks and suspend them with a single click. Go, Go Recursive, and Go Immediately work the same way. Workflow tasks of tooltips. We hover over a task to display a small interface that contains pertinent information. This is true both in the workflow editor and the monitor. In version 21, these tooltips have been improved with status, task number, general information, and more. It also looks a bit nicer. We've had these status consolidation markers for quite some time. Until now, they were just informational, showing task numbers for each status group. They're now interactive. Clicking applies a display filter. You click once to enable the filter and click again to disable it. You can also enable multiple. Let's select multiple groups. Finally, before version 21, logging levels for AWI were set in logback.xml. You would change the level and restart AWI. This is no longer the case. The level can now be set directly in AWI as long as you're in client zero. The feature is not available in other clients.